Hello again. Uh, so this is part three of Bougain Basics. This is another wrist movement that uh, is very different from the previous one, but might feel very similar. So let's look at it up close. So here's the previous wrist motion that I just explained in the last video. And this is the next one. So the distinct deep difference here is that the wrist always stays on top. All right, so here's that motion slowed down, step by step, wrist down one, Second part, bottom fingers out, two. Third part is pointer finger and the thumb. They pinch. At the same time, they create a ring. So they pinch from here, and there's a ring formed by those two fingers. But remember, it's also important to pinch here. So, first part, wrist down, bottom fingers out, pinch, and ring, Bougain comes around, at this point I start to slide. So you see my hand comes around like this. Now these fingers are on top and they can provide extra momentum to the bougain. They move it around. Then, keeping that ring, I slide my hand like so, and then bring my hands, my fingers, back down on the bougain. And then we're back at step one again, where the wrist goes down. Okay. So, again, all the motions, wrist down, bottom fingers out, pinch, ring, the momentum here is what allows you to slide like that. It's very difficult to do this move at such a slow speed. I'm actually holding it down here so I can show you. So, slides around, bottom fingers push. Then, at this point, they provided some momentum. I can slide back to the starting position. Okay, here's the reverse motion. I didn't show that in the first part of this video, so here it is fast. Okay, slowing it down, we start here, we push down like that, these fingers come off, we have our pinch and our light ring, it, the ring doesn't have to be connected by the way either, it can just be like this, it doesn't have to pinch here, the pinch is more important around here. Okay. So, push down, bottom fingers out, ring, slide, at that point I slid, right? My fingers go down again because they want to pull the bougain up, like that. Then another sliding motion happens here. So. That is this motion. Let's slow it down. One, two, three, slide. Four, pull with the fingers. Five, fingers out, I guess, again, yeah. Six, back. 
you've done another, another slide to get here. So I use this move to do the pure uh, It can be used in any amount of intervals, I guess, theoretically. Right now, I'm doing it at two and four points. So these two and these two, I guess you could also do six, eight, more and more and more intervals. Um, the fluidity really matters here. That's why it's a little bit more difficult for me to perform it slowly. So 